Hello everyone, today is Saturday, January 30th, 2021 at 10.51 a.m. So, I guess I was able to sleep from a little bit after 2 o'clock in the morning and then woke up about 9.30 and so, um, I'm surprised I was able to sleep good. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm surprised I was able to sleep good. And, um, I didn't eat breakfast or anything yet. But I, you know, about to go and eat what I ate for the past couple of days. I've been a sucker for peanut butter and honey lately. So I'm going to do like I did the past couple of days. Have the um <clears throat> peanut butter and honey sandwich with, on the Ezekiel 4 and 9 bread. And have some um a mixture of both the cherry juice and the... um coconut water and, and call it breakfast <clears throat> and um well <clears throat> for the past few nights like in the middle of the night I've been having cravings and urges to want to order food and eat in the middle of the night <clears throat> but <clears throat> you know I don't want to start that habit uh, but, um, <clears throat> you know, they said with us being targeted individuals that we, um, being targeted that, um, we can't even, like, we'll always have a bad experience of some sort. Well, almost always, you know, if we ever order food or go out, eat out. But then I heard stories about, you know, like, if you go grocery shopping, then uh, your food will be tainted and stuff like that. If you're a targeted individual. But <clears throat> it's like, I had... Like, in the middle of the night, I had the um, urge to want to download, I mean, download the DoorDash app and, you know, order food and eat. But I don't want to start up the habit of um, eating in the middle of the night or even ordering food because, you know, I know that that would mess up my health and plus my sleeping even worse. But it's like... You know, us targeted individuals a lot of the time get guaranteed poor customer service, not with just food, but if we want to go and buy clothes or if we want to go and even if we want to go buy flowers or just randomly anything, you have to put up with um you know, bad customer service. <clears throat> so, and that's what makes it a challenge that I feel disappointed because I can't, you know, I mean, I know my, I ordered food, I think only twice by Uber Eats and I, and after that, you know, kind of traumatic and frustrating situation, even though I got my money back, I said I didn't want to work with, I mean, you know, I didn't want to be their customer, you know, their customer anymore because, um, you know, even though they gave me all my money back, it was just bizarre what happened. And the girl didn't even come in the same car, in the same vehicle that she was supposed to show up in. 
And I didn't even know how to go and report that, you know. But it's like I was disappointed in the whole entire experience. And I'm glad I was able to get all my money back and then get the food basically for free. But, you know, I don't want to do Uber Eats anymore. But, you know, I have been, you know, not feeling like wanting to leave here. And it seems like with regular delivery, food delivery, with certain places, there's not that many options around here. If you stick with the store-based delivery, like Jimmy John's or Pizza Hut or, you know, a couple of other places. <clears throat> and so, it's like, you feel a little spoiled, you know, ordering from your favorite restaurant or any other restaurant and just having food delivered. But as a targeted individual, <clears throat> you can't have that luxury, excuse me, you can't have that luxury, um, you know, without some problem or some inconvenience or, you know, something strange going on. And then the perps will always get away with it or get rewarded for it. <clears throat> so, I mean, I even looked into the idea of Instacart and Publix delivery, and I just didn't follow through with it because of being scared that they wouldn't bring all my items or that I would be overcharged or something strange happened and stuff like that. And then there, with these, you know, apps and stuff, it seemed like there's much or nothing that can be done or it's diff very difficult to, to try to get, you know, any proper customer service through um, if somebody messes up your order by DoorDash or Instacart or something like that. But it's like if you go through, uh, if you have a problem with, uh, you know, if you order Papa John's and you have a problem, <clears throat> then you easily can have, a, um, you know, you can get that problem. It's easier not, I mean, it's easier, but, um, cause it's straight up through the store that you can have your problem, um, you know, fixed or something like that. But one time, I mean, me living here, they try to play all kinds of games and try to tell me that I cannot order Jimmy John's because I'll try to go order from one store and they said that they don't deliver in this area. And then another store said that they don't deliver in this area. But both stores are close to this area. So I don't understand why um why I could why basically I can't get Jimmy John's ordered in anywhere. I mean any location. Because you see Jimmy John's is is be cheaper than uh ordering pizza so but then it, it it's like being a targeted individual seeing like you know the perps or outsiders will make it like oh she lazy and she don't want to work or she don't want to uh she, she don't even want to go to the store and stuff no I just don't feel like dealing with harassment but I would love to go out and uh get to go to the store or go here go there go for walks, go, you know, go take a walk for somewhere, but I, I'm um, just trying to rest and have not been able to rest psychologically and mentally because of, you know, uh, you know I mean, y'all follow through the things, you know, that I've been through for the past couple of months. So it's been officially two months since I've been here. And I guess the the offer from that lady is out of the question. 
still no job and um you know I, I just wish I could um <clears throat> like when I ordered Red Robin a couple of months ago I, I mean I ordered it and it came here and everything was smooth everything was fine but then later on I tried to order from a restaurant downtown and and that's a whole different video, a whole different story. I mean, that was with the Uber Eats experience. But that was bizarre what happened, though. And it, it seemed like being targeted. It's like, I know you got to live and you got to do, you know, certain businesses with certain stores or certain, you know, situations or whatever. But they want to make it like you can't even live. Or make, you know, like you can't, they, they want to try to make it like as if, you, you know, discouraged from getting to live like normal. And then they condemn you for not being normal. But they deliberately make your circumstances normal, crazy, and unbelievable. But it's not you being crazy. It's not you being bizarre or weird or anything. It's just they're manipulating certain circumstances to make you out to look crazy when you're not crazy. And then the fake T.I. perps do a worse job than the regular perps. And they're the ones who act extra paranoid. You know, I don't even like that word, paranoid. But they're the ones who act like as if they're paranoid of the real T.I.s, the actual T.I.s. But I've been getting more fake T.I. perp activity on my other targeted by the Psych World channel that I can't do videos on, but, um, I have, I have to wait until I don't know how long and I try to reach out to YouTube and you know, the last appeal, they just left hanging. So I don't know if I should try to contact them again, but I've been on strike unfairly since like November 30th. And it, and it seems like, you know, the star bricker person, stars 15K, shits yuck 10K. She always, uh, seeing like this the second year in a row that she waited till close to the end of the year to try to get my account taken down. And so, um, I never done it in, in, in originally in the first place, I never done anything to her, but, um, she is the reason why. You know, she succeeded at getting the first Psych World channel taken down. And then she got the, uh, she almost got the other targeted by the Psych World channel taken down. And she has attacked my Candy Grand Prix channel, but it didn't work. So, um, so it's like, Somebody came on my other channel, on the main targeted by the Psych World channel, which was an originally the backup to my original Psych World channel. So by the main, I mean the was currently the the main targeted by the Psych World channel, a fake Ti perp who just had a few like about five or six videos of her being homeless on the streets out in the cold. And then did one video talking about targeted individuals and gang stalking. And she had, she was subscribed to like tarot card reader and stuff like that, which is witchcraft. And I don't do any of that. But I never in my life came across this person. I n never knew of her existence or anything like that. But... My videos came before before hers, and I don't. I never knew about her channel. I don't know her, or I don't know anything. So she came on my channel and tried to make a comment saying, "Oh, tell me what's in your mind." And then she did another comment that said, "Oh, look at her. Her eyes are dark. Her eyes are black. 
and she's a demon and they they try to uh they paid her to do this video and she's trying to uh i think she tried to falsely accuse me of trying to mock her homeless situation when it's actually her doing it to me and it's like what the hell, you know, the fake T.I. perps, y'all strange. And the regular perps are strange too, but all y'all strange. So, if, if you, uh, you, you know, I don't, I just don't understand. I don't get it. Why would she do that? Because people have always told me that I have the light. I don't think. Um, you know, anything special, but they say that they see a light in me and I'm a beautiful soul and they can see it in my eyes and everything like that. So why would she come on my channel and say that, oh, look, it's a demon and she has dark eyes or black eyes or, or, or whatever. And she's trying to, you know, she falsely accused me of trying to mock her so-called homeless situation. And I don't do stuff like that. I don't have a reason to. You know, I know what I'm legitimately going through. And so, um, the fake T.I. perps, they, they love to, and regular perps and narcissistic abusers, they love to project what they do, you know, onto real, you know, victims and stuff, you know. Or real, you know, people who are actually suffering. So, it's like, I'm not worried about trying to harass anyone. I'm just trying to freaking fight to survive every day. And today, I wanted, to, in this video, oh, my, they're trying to hurt my left side. To Today, my video, you know... Since I only got like about three gigabytes on my phone data and I got to stretch that between three days, excuse me, excuse me, oh. keep forcing me to yawn, but, um, I have to, and see that holds me back to any distractions or them forcing, it's like taking up more time on my video. Um, so I have to, um, let this upload via Wi-Fi and, um, I don't want to be on here too much longer, but I don't know if I'm dreaming too big, if I make it a goal today to, to work hard on about, you know, a few more short stories today and. Or if I'm dreaming too big, or uh, if I'm giving myself unrealistic expectations to write like four short stories today, and about four or five tomorrow, and try to get a, another book pushed out before the you you know because tomorrow's the last day of the month, or I might be dreaming too big and just. You know, giving myself unrealistic expectations. I mean, I don't know if I might. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if, if I might succeed at doing that or if I just maybe can uh, have it pushed later this week and work on, you know, the homeless ebook and stuff like that. So. Okay, well, I'll see y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.